Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, you know, my most favorite type of lessons are those related to problems, and uh, uh, I will continue talking about problems related to similarity. This is lecture number four with different problems about this. And uh, if, you don't, uh, if you didn't um, look at the notes to this lecture and did not try to solve the problems yourself, please stop this uh, listening to this lecture and just go to the website unisor.com, go to similarity problems uh, lecture number four and attempt to solve all these problems yourself first. Only after that, whether you will be success successful or not, only after that listen to these lectures and when I finish try to do exactly the same thing again by yourself. That's the best way to um, approach all these problems and that's exactly how I would recommend to do it. So I will continue with problems uh, for similarity and uh, these problems are related to, well in some way it's related to Pythagorean theorem. Um, uh, they are a little bit more general, if you wish, not only for right angle triangles, but also for uh, triangles with acute or obtuse angles. So, um, well, let me remind first that if you have um, the right triangle, then Uh, notice that I'm using the lowercase letters for the side, the same as uppercase for an opposite vertex. vertex. So the Pythagorean theorem is a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared, and uh, obviously you understand that a, b, and c are uh, the sides, but when, when I'm writing some, something like this, what I actually mean is the lengths of this corresponding side. So if you take the lengths of the hypotenuse A uh, and square it, it will be equal to sum of squares of uh, two faculty. Um, proof was actually in one of the prior lectures, so I'm just referring you to one of them. Um, it's very easy actually, and uh, it's using the similarity of three triangles, this is in the altitude, so small one is similar to the bigger one and is similar to the biggest one. So from this similarity you can very easily get this. Now, what if my angle is not right angle? What if it's, well, actually let me just draw it again. What if my angle is acute. So again, A, B, C, and uh, B, A, C. Well, as you understand, this angle is smaller, angle A I'm talking about, is smaller than the right angle. So if you will um, increase its, its measure to the right angle, then this will be the sum of squares of these two. But if you make it smaller, you kind of feel intuitively that the square of uh, this side should be less than the sum of these squares. So I'm going to quantify, to quantify this particular relationship between these two. Now, before um, attempting to do that, what I will do is, with some kind of auxiliary thing, let me draw a perpendicular from the vertex B. Um, now, the let's put letter H here. Now, um, there is a concept of projection in geometry. Projection uh, of the point, for instance, onto the line is just the base of the perpendicular to this line. So if you have a line and a point, 
we drop the perpendicular, and this point is a projection of that point on the line. If you have a, a segment, then the projection is basically a segment of a line between two projections of the points. So, knowing that, I can say that uh, AH is a projection of AB. Well, this is just beside the point, um, just the terminology. But now what I'm going to do is the following. If you have this triangle, and you have, um, I'm using the different letters here in my notes. If you have BM as an altitude from the vertex X, uh, uh, B to um, side AC, then if you have a similar altitude towards um, side AB from the C, so the point which I would like to make right now, equation basically, is that AC, which is this, and I'm talking about the lengths, obviously, not about segments. Segments are not multiplied, it's the lengths which, which, which is multiplied. By the lengths uh, AM, of projection, if you wish, of another uh, side onto this side, is the same as if I will take AB, other side, and projection of the first side on it, which is AN. Now, why do I actually need this? Uh, well, for the future, uh, for, for the next problem, actually, I will be using this type of projection of one side onto another, and um, I, I don't want to... Uh, to be asymmetrical, so to speak. I would like to say that this multiplication of the lengths of the side by the projection, lengths of the projection of another side on it is actually the same if you take this side or that side around this angle. Um, now, how can I prove it? Well, actually, it's extremely simple because if you will notice A, B, M is the right triangle, because this is an altitude, right? And so is ACM, also right triangle. Now, these right triangles have the common acute angle, which means that the other angle is also congruent to each other, right? So two right triangles, one angle is common, it means other angles are congruent to each other. Which means they are similar. You remember we are talking about problems related to similarity. So the similarity of these triangles actually mean, um, well, that their sides are proportional, right? You remember that. So let's say hypotenuse of one side, which is AC, over hypotenuse, now this is the hypotenuse of A and C, right? It, um, now over to hypotenuse of A, B, M, which is A, B, is the same as um, the catechus A, N, uh, opposite to this angle, to the catechus opposite to the same angle, opposite uh, in, in another triangle, which is AM. And this, as you see, is exactly the same as this, because these are proportions, which means AC times AM is equal to AB times AN, which was supposed to be proven. So this is a very simple thing, and this is not really the, the, the problem which is kind of a central problem for this particular lecture. For this particular lecture, I would like actually to express the square of this side, which is A square, as uh, some kind of a formula related to B and C. Well, I can't really relate it to B and C. I also need this particular piece, AM, and let me call it 
since it's a projection of C, I will call it C prime. Now, what is the square of this particular side, which is opposite to acute angle A? Well, let's think about it. Considering BMC is a right triangle, I can use the Pythagorean theorem, right? Which means this hypotenuse square is equal to sum of square this plus square this, right? Let's call it H. H square plus. Now, what is this particular MC? MC is B minus C prime. Right? Equals 2. Now, what is H square? Well, H square, let's consider now A, B, M. Right triangle. H, C, A, H square is basically the square of the catheters B, M, which is equal, again, Pythagorean theorem. Square of hypotenuse, which is C square, minus square of another catheter. Since this square plus this square is equal to this, so this square is equal to C square minus C prime square. That's what H square is. And we still have this one. Okay, let me go here. Well, let's open the parentheses. C square minus C prime square plus b square minus 2bc prime plus c prime, prime square. c prime square plus and minus gives 0, and the resulting formula is, I will use b square first plus c square, b square plus c square minus 2bc square. c prime, sorry. So, as we see, the square of one particular side of a triangle, which is opposite to acute angle, uh, I would like to emphasize the word acute here, because I will definitely consider another case when the angle is obtuse and the formula will be slightly different. So, opposite to acute angle is equal to sum of squares of two other sides, but then you have this minus something, minus um, double lengths of one of the sides multiplied by projection of another on it. Now, and this is exactly something which is um, like asymmetry. Why do we use this particular B and the projection of C onto B as some kind of, you know, special case or whatever? Well, it's not a special case, because based on the problem which I have just proven before that, it's exactly the same as if I will take instead of this, so b squared plus c squared still in place, but instead of multiplication b times projection of the c on b, I can take c and projection b prime. And B prime is this. So they are symmetrical. These two formulas are symmetrical because these members are exactly the same. So I don't want you... You see, symmetry sometimes can be, um, you know, some kind of a criteria. Because if you are starting from something similar and, um, and obtain asymmetrical formula, well, that's always a suspicion that something might, might be actually wrong in, in your deriving, in your derivation of this formula. Uh, but in this particular case, although the formula looks um, asymmetrical, this asymmetry is not the real one, because if I will use a symmetrical uh, uh, variation of this formula, I will get an, a, a, exactly the same thing. Um, OK, so basically what I can say is, that the square of the side, which is opposite to uh, acute angle, is equal to sum of squares of other uh, two sides 
minus minus double product of one of the sides onto projection of another side on it, regardless of which side you take, this B or that C. Which means it's less, as we see, by this particular um, member of this formula, it, it, it's less than sum of two squares, as is the case with um, right triangle. By the way, um, how does this formula actually look like if I will start increasing the angle um, BAC to, uh, to, to the right angle, to 90 degrees? Well, obviously, as I increase this angle, this uh, altitude will, go, uh, will, will come closer and closer, and by the time it's right triangle ABC, my altitude actually is coinciding with the catheters, which means that this particular length, C prime, becomes zero. And if C prime becomes zero, obviously this number disappears, and the formula now is exactly the Pythagorean formula, which basically is not a proof, obviously, of the Pythagorean theorem, because we were using the Pythagorean theorem to, to prove this one, but it's kind of an indication that there is nothing terribly wrong with our formula of this. So we have two actually um, intuitive checkings which we have made. Number one, that this um, is symmetrical, and number two, that um, it actually uh, transforms into the known Pythagorean formula in case the angle is increasing to 90 degrees. Okay, so this is it. This is two different problems. One was um, the uh, e equality of, of these um, products. Another is the formula for acute angle. And now the third one would be um, the formula for um, obtuse angle. I'll do exactly the same thing. Um, the drawing will be slightly different. Um, first of all, let's think about what happens with our um, with our formula um, with um, what would happen with our formula in case of two's angle. Um, uh, the multiplication of the side by the projection of another side on it. So let's take this altitude, and that was our point M. And let's take this altitude. This is our point N. Now this is an obtuse angle which we were discussing, okay? Now, well, we will basically do exactly the same thing. Now, triangle ABM is the right triangle, and triangle ACN is also the right triangle. Now, BM is perpendicular to AC, and this is a continuation of AC. CN is perpendicular to AB, and this is a continuation of AB. Now, since these are continuation of the sides, these two angles are vertical, and therefore congruent to each other, and that's why these particular angles are also congruent to each other, since these are right triangles. ACN and ABM are right triangles. Uh, a pair of uh, acute angles uh, are congruent to each other, so the other pairs as well. Now we will just write uh, the expression uh, of similarity 
based on the fact that these two triangles are indeed um, similar. Now, proportionality between hypotenuses, so AC to AB, is equal to proportionality between cutters lying opposite to this angle in this triangle, which is AN, to a catheter which is lying opposite to the same angle in another triangle, to AF. And we again see exactly the same equality. AC times AM equals to AB times AN. So, the result of the product of a side by projection of another side on it, which is AM, is equal to, again, result of the product of another side, AB, by projection of the first side on it, which is AN. So, this is exactly the same. Symmetry is preserved, and it's the same for acute angle or for obtuse angle. But now let's talk about our square of of one side. So this was A, this is C, this is B. Now the projection of C onto B we marked as C prime, and projection of B on C we marked as B prime. Okay, now, now everything is just a couple of theorems, uh, a couple of Pythagorean equations. Now, M, B, C is the right triangle, so A squared equals to H squared plus, in this case, it's B plus C prime squared. So this catheter of this triangle is B plus C prime. Now, if you remember, in case of acute angle, it was minus C prime, because the point was here, and you have to subtract it. So that's basically the difference, this sum, which is equal to, instead of H square, I can always write, considering this right triangle, H is the catechus, which means its square is equal to square of hypotenuse minus square of another. So it's C square minus C prime square equals, open the parenthesis here, C minus C square, C prime square, C square minus C prime square plus B square plus 2BC prime plus C prime square, C prime square goes out, and as a result, we see that A square is equal to B square plus C square plus, in this case it's plus, in the cute angle case it was minus, 2B C prime which is equal to b prime plus the uh, square plus c square plus 2 c b uh, prime as well because as i have just proven the multi multiplication of a side by projection of another side um, in the triangle is exactly the same as the other side by projection of the first side so b c prime is equal to c b prime so, what's the difference, again, relative to the previous formula? The plus sign rather than the minus. And obviously you understand intuitively that if you have a right triangle, then there is no this member. And again, I, 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 for obvious reason, because the projection would be equal to zero, because this would be the right angle, right? But if you increase the angle um, over 90 degrees, then it seems to be, it's intuitively obvious that you are increasing 
this particular side. So sum of square of this plus this should be greater, uh, uh, sorry, uh, should be uh, smaller than just square of this one, and we should add another member to be uh, equal to a square. All right, so these are uh, basically four different theorems which uh, are related to these angles. And um, basically, this particular uh, theorem is, um, it can be formulated in terms of trigonometry. I don't want to introduce trigonometry yet. Uh, it's basically about the angles and certain functions like sine, cosine, etc. Uh, so instead of, in those formulas, instead of using projection, instead of using projection AM of AB onto AC, I can always use um, cosine of this angle. Uh, then the formula would be much more symmetrical um, but again, I would like actually to delay it until I will go through trigonometry um, in a more uh, orderly fashion. So, basically, um, let me check if there is anything else for this particular lecture. I don't think so. Yeah, that's it. Um, so, um, now I recommend you to go to uh, unizor.com to the notes for this particular lecture, and again, try to prove all these, well, four, if I'm not mistaken, different theorems, two for acute angles uh, related to symmetry and uh, related to square of one of the um, sides, and two for obtuse angles, also one related to symmetry and another related to um, square of one of the sides. And try to get exactly the same formulas by yourself, um, and that would be a very, very useful exercise. Thanks very much. Until the next one.